Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Ananya. In today's video, I'll be talking about alpha fetoprotein test. Before beginning my video, I would like you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. So now, let us know what is alpha fetoprotein test. Before that, let us see what is alpha fetoprotein or AFP. AFP is a protein that is produced by liver in a developing fetus. During the development, some part of protein is transferred from placenta to the mother's blood. An AFP test measures the level of AFP in the second trimester. Too much or too little AFP in mother's blood may be a sign of birth defect, which may include neural tube defects and Down syndrome. Neural tube defect is a serious defect that causes underdevelopment or abnormal development of baby's brain or spine. Down syndrome is a genetic disorder that causes developmental delays. High AFP or low AFP may also be a sign of multiple or twins. Now, what is AFP test used for? AFP test is used to detect if there are any birth defects, including neural tube defect. Why you may need an AFP test? You must be getting an AFP test between 15th week and 20th week. Now, this test is highly recommended to you if you have a family history of genetic disorders, if you are older than 35 years, and if you are diabetic. But remember, diabetic does not include gestational diabetes. It means you are diabetic before conceiving. What happens during an AFP test? During an AFP test, a small sample of blood will be taken from the vein of your arm. Now, do you need to prepare anything for this test? No, this test does not require any type of preparedness, as it is very quick and very easy. Are there any risks related to this test? As I told you, this test is very easy and very quick. You just need to provide a small sample of your blood. So this test is free from all type of risks. Sometimes, instead of AFP, or if doctor notices there is something abnormal, your doctor might also ask you for amniocentesis. Amniocentesis provides more accurate diagnosis of Down syndrome and other birth defects. Now, what do the results mean? If your AFP values are higher, it means if there is more amount of alpha fetoprotein in your blood, then there may be a high chance of birth defect, which is neural tube defect, which can include spina bifida. Spina bifida is a condition in which bones around the spine do not close. It may also be a sign of anencephaly, in which the brain does not develop in a proper manner. But don't worry, if your AFP levels are not normal, it may not necessarily mean that there is a defect. Sometimes the result is not normal. It may be because of the wrong information provided by the patient, which includes wrong dates. Also, it may include more number of fetuses that results in more alpha fetoprotein. Also, sometimes the test may be false positive. Having result false positive may mean that although your test is showing abnormal values, but still the fetus or the baby is healthy. Now, is there anything which you might need to know about AFP? AFP is a part of series of prenatal tests, which include multiple number of tests. Along with AFP, a triple screening test is also done. Now, if you are in a higher side of having baby with birth defects, then your doctor might also ask you to get CFDNA test. It is also a type of blood test which is done on 10th week. So make sure you visit your doctor on time and get all the tests done on proper time. Also, a quick reminder. It is very important for you to get tested from a reputed and reliable lab. A link to a tested and reliable lab will be provided to you in the description box below. That's all for today's video. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please feel free to comment below. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy.